So uh, what I've done here, just a really quick example workspace here. Um, in my user table, I've created this field for like API key. Um, and we can even generate this when the user signs up, um, for mm -hmm. example, or we can generate this separately. But for this example, I just did it on the sign up endpoint. So all I'm doing here is I just creating this variable, calling it API key, and I'm just generating a UUID. And we could even make this even longer. We can concatenate it with other values, but just for the sake of this example. And just creating... real quick, that, Go ahead. that UUID is a filter. I don't know, Patrick, if you've used the filters yet, but filters are a way to basically add further transformation capabilities to the function stack. Okay. Right. So yeah, I just went to add filter and search for UUID. Um, and then once I generate that, I'm just adding it to uh, my user record when I'm adding this re record. Um, so for example, if I were to, let's just create a, a user real quick. I'll just type in myself here. So email.com and something like test one, two, three, four, or one, two, three. Oops, I need a longer password. Okay, so that endpoint obviously generates an auth token, but if we go to our user table here, mm -hmm. Now you can see I have this unique um, unique ID, right? Basically this API key. So let me actually, I'm going to um, copy this real quick and I'll show you this other endpoint I started setting up, but we'll finish it. So this example endpoint here. Um, so this is kind of what you'd uh, send to your user to basically authenticate. They'd put in this API key as an input uh, what we would do is we would look up the user record based on that field called API key that I created and it's stored in there. The field value would be that API key they're actually inputting. And then what we can do is we can set a precondition just to make sure that, um, well, we can set a couple. We can make sure that the input is equal to that field in our user table there. You can see here, input API key equals user one that API key, let's save this. We might have another precondition in here. And we might just wanna say that this user one variable that we're looking up does not equal null. So it actually exists just as extra security check. And so if these pass, what we can do is we can actually come into here in the function stack and security and actually create that authentication token uh, that lets the user now use that token to hit all the other endpoints in Xano. So the ID here would still be from this user variable. And I might just call this auth token here. And I'd probably return that. Uh, so now let's go ahead, I copied that uh, API key that was generated. So if I run this, you can see it will generate an auth token for me, which now I can go and use um, throughout the other Xano endpoints that require authentication. You'll notice if I take out a character here, it would say the precondition actually failed because it's not the same key. So does that kind of make sense? Yes, pretty much. Thank you very much. Of course, no problem.